I have tried so many mineral sunscreens and some of them have irritated my skin or had a crazy white cast. Today I just want to share my favorites that look beautiful, feel beautiful, are sensitive skin safe, and have a decent SPF. Let's get started. While I've been testing all of these different mineral sunscreens, what am I actually looking for? I want something that feels good on the skin. I don't want it to feel greasy or heavy. I want it to feel lightweight. I also want something that looks good. I want to not have a crazy white cast. I also want the SPF to be at least 40, ideally SPF 50. All the formulas I have here are compatible with sensitive skin. Now we all have unique types of skin and skin barriers. So perhaps what one person likes, you may not like and vice versa. I'm gonna talk about a variety of brands at a variety of price points, starting from nine to $69 and these are my favorites. Liquid formulations. I couldn't make a list of my favorite mineral sunscreens without including the mineral sunscreen that I've probably worn for most of my adult life and that is Elta MD UV Clear. This is such a classic dermatologist recommended formulation that's made for rosacea prone and acne prone skin. Quick interruption from Future Robin. When I was filming this, I did not realize that this formula actually contains 7.5% octanoxate, making it a hybrid sunscreen. I thought it was only a zinc filter, but this one is a mix of chemical and mineral filters. So apology for this oversight. That said, it's still a classic formula that many dermatologists recommend and it's never given me any issues. Okay, back to the video. I really love how lightweight this is. It doesn't have a white cast. It also comes in a tinted version that's personally too dark for me. I've tried it, did not like it. So if you do have fair skin, I would definitely recommend the UV Clear. One reason I've started to move away from it more is that I do find that it's a little bit watery and moist in a way that if I put it on before makeup, I don't necessarily like. It also does include niacinamide, which I know some of you love and some of you are sensitive to, so just be aware, this formula does have niacinamide. I'm gonna try to go super efficiently through this list, and if you have any follow-up questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get to as many as possible. I really do love engaging with you guys in the comments. Next on my list is a Korean sunscreen by Claire's, the All Day Airy Mineral Sunscreen. This is an SPF 50. It's a zinc oxide formula. It has a subtle white cast when you put it on at first, but as you blend it out, the white cast really disappears. Again, I'm very fair, so I can't speak to whether the white cast would completely disappear on really dark skin, but I think it would. So if you do have deeper skin, I wouldn't necessarily shy away from this formula, especially if you're gonna put on makeup. I don't think it would be an issue at all, but even if you're not going to put on makeup, if you're someone who's just looking to wear SPF and out the door, I think you could rub this in enough that the white cast would disappear. I like this formula. I think it's relatively affordable, and I think it's just a great option that's available across the world. I know that some of the options I might talk about are maybe easier to get in North America because that's where I'm currently living. But Korean products, you can pretty much get all over the world, especially if you go through a site like iHerb. They ship to, I think, over 100 countries and they'll have a lot of really great Korean options. The next sunscreen I want to talk about is what I consider one of the most unique formulations. It's unlike anything else that I've tried, and that is the Mineral Matte Screen by Supergoop. I think this formula is really interesting because it's more more like a slightly silicone primer than a typical sunscreen and it gives sort of a smooth filtered matte finish and I actually turned my mom onto this sunscreen because she's trying to protect her skin but my mom doesn't wear any sort of makeup or anything she wants something that just looks good and is easy peasy what I can say is that every time she wears this sunscreen I can tell she's wearing it not because I can see the sunscreen but because her skin looks filtered and smooth in a very subtle way. Not in a makeup-y way, but it just looks beautiful. And this is an example of a sunscreen that I think is typically marketed towards women or people who wear makeup, but I think so many other people would love this formula. And the reason is because you can apply it so quickly on the go, you don't need a mirror, and you will never have any issues with white cast that you haven't rubbed out or weird white marks. It is so invisible that you can put it on without a mirror, and so I 
think this is a great option for people who are out and about and on the go. And it also is very easy to tell where you've put it on your skin because your skin will feel extra smooth in that area. I highly recommend people check this one out. Next, we have the most expensive sunscreen in the bunch. And I do really love this formula. I'm not sure how I feel about the price tag. And to be honest, I don't think I would purchase it again because of the price tag. If it was cheaper, I would, but I'm still putting it on this list because I think objectively the formula is really nice. I like the way it sits on the skin and under makeup. And I'm sure there's someone watching this video who really has an infinite budget for their sun care. If the price point is not a priority to you, then you might really like this Murad sunscreen, SPF 50, the City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum. And this formula is supposed to create an environmental shield. It says protection from UVA, UVB, pollution, blue light from devices, and infrared radiation. And it is a mixed mineral formula, meaning that it's 2.7% titanium oxide and 10% zinc oxide. What I like about this formula is the color of it. It has a very subtle pinkish tone that cancels out any potential white cast. And when you blend it in, again, there's no white cast. It's a very moisturizing formula, and if you're someone with oily skin, you might find it a tiny bit greasy, but if you have dry skin, I think this is perfect. So here, you can't see it at all in my hand. I just put it on. Objectively, it is a great facial sunscreen, though I am not sure it's worth the price for me personally. $69 is a lot. One good thing about this sunscreen and a few other sunscreens on this list is that this one is sold at Sephora, meaning that if you're in North America, you can use it for up to 30 days and return it used and still get a full refund if you don't like it. So I really appreciate Sephora's return policy. I know Sephora is a very pricey store, but to me it's sometimes worth it to choose products from Sephora just because I can really, really test them for 30 days. And because I have a membership with Sephora, I don't even need the receipt. I don't even need the original packaging. I can just bring it into the store and they'll give me a full refund. Okay, my last liquid formulation, which is currently my all-time favorite. It's what I'm wearing today. It is the Babao Botanicals Daily Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Fluid. I am obsessed with this stuff. To me, it's like the cheaper and better version of the Murad that I just shared. It is sheer, it is lightweight, and it's not as greasy as the Murad, so it's perfect for, I think, dry or oily skin. It has such a beautiful finish. It's slightly matte and slightly dewy in all the right ways. It just looks so natural. And I think it's a really, really great base for makeup. Some of these other sunscreens, like the matte screen by Supergoop, my sister uses that as a makeup base. I do not like it as a makeup base. I think it's too slippery. Now I did see a few reviews on Amazon that said people were actually having breakouts from this sunscreen. I haven't experienced any sort of irritation or breakouts. I really like it. But again, this is just a testament to the fact that all of our skin is different. There are sunscreens like the Summer Friday Shade Drops that people seem to really like that personally for me sting and irritate my skin. So I think with sunscreen, it's all about testing it out and seeing what looks good and feels good for you. If you've been watching my content for a while, you might've noticed that my editing styles and my aesthetics have evolved over time and my videos are slowly becoming less sucky. One resource I recently used to help me better define my creative style is Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. They have special learning paths to help you conquer different creative skills in a very clear, easy to follow manner. It's not gonna be overwhelming. You can study film, design, illustration, animation, entrepreneurship. They have courses on all of these things. I really love how well structured the courses are and it really feels like I'm there. It's interactive. It's intimate. I recently took this course on finding my creative style. It was so impactful in helping me define what I consider my aesthetic taste and what I'm striving towards aesthetically. If you are a creative interested in design, YouTube, or any other type of creative expression, I definitely recommend checking out Skill Share. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to my favorite sunscreen sticks. I love sunscreen sticks. I think it's one of the easiest ways to reapply sunscreen throughout the day. I 
think they can also work as really beautiful primers under makeup. They're just fun and convenient to put on, so great to carry in your bag. The first mineral sunscreen I will talk about is this Salt and Stone SPF 50 Tinted. Now this is a tinted formulation that doesn't actually have any color, but the tint essentially cancels out any sort of white cast from the zinc in this formulation. It's not the most smooth, easiest to put on, but I think it's again a great option on the go. I'm just thinking of my fiance reapplying sunscreen and then there's just white streaks all over his face and on his ears. That will never happen with a sunscreen stick like this. One thing about sunscreen sticks is it can sometimes be easy to miss spots. You're kind of thinking, did I already put some here? Did I put some here? One tool that can help you find out where you've put sunscreen is a UV camera. They're not too expensive on Amazon. These are kind of gimmicky, but they do tell you where you've put sunscreen on your face. Please note that these cameras don't tell you the strength, quality, or SPF of what you've put on your face. They just show you where you have put sunscreen. So I could imagine that you have a sunscreen stick in your bag and a little UV camera, and then you could put it on and check to make sure you've covered your whole face. That might be a really solid way to reapply sunscreen throughout the day. This is making me think that I recently spoke to a dermatologist who wanted me to give a little PSA to my viewers, reminding them to put sunscreen on your eyelids and inside your ears because she said she has taken out too many melanomas inside people's ears and people often forget eyelids inside of the ear. So that's my quick little PSA intermission. Okay, my next sunscreen stick. Ah, oh, I really love this one. It's so cute. I took off the wrapper, which is why it looks plain, but I think it looks so cute without the wrapper. This is the Copper Tone Pure and Simple Sunscreen Stick. I think it's an affordable quality option that might be a little bit greasy for someone with really oily skin, but in general, it has cocoa butter in it that's super hydrating for the skin. It has a very, very subtle white cast that again, I think you can really blend out with your hands. I really love this option because of the price point. And it's really so not irritating. It's hypoallergenic. I think it's just a good quality, simple formula that's easy to carry around and take in your bag. Next, I have a really lovely Korean sunscreen stick. It is the Make Prem Airy Light Physical Sun Stick formulated with zinc. Again, this is a sunscreen stick that has a very, very subtle white cast at first, but the second you blend it out, it completely disappears. So I think it's a really great option for all skin tones. It's just another good option that's convenient in the bag that has a good, not too greasy, not too white formula that I think would also sit beautifully under makeup. And then lastly, this is my favorite mineral sun stick that I've been wearing every day and reapplying every single day. That's the Benton Mineral Sun Stick. I really, really love this guy. It's SPF 50, hypoallergenic. I think it's a pretty decent price point. Because I wear makeup, I like that this doesn't seem to move my makeup around too much. And it makes it really easy to put more makeup on top of it's because it's just a really nice primer. And again, so convenient to take on the go in your bag for reapplication. To speed this along, let's quickly move on to my next category, which is formulations with a tint. This will give a little bit more of a makeup y vibe. I'm gonna talk about these two together. They are the Color Science Flex and the Color Science Glow Mineral Sunscreens, both SPF 50. <laughs> The funky thing about this is I don't like either of them on their own. I actually like them when they're mixed together better. I think the Flex is too chalky looking on its own and the glowy one is too metallic on its own. But when you mix them together, it creates this really beautiful, slightly dewy, glowy, slightly more mattified finish than either one would achieve on their own. So I wanted to share this because I really, really love them together and I wear it every single day. Color Science is a very high quality brand that I personally have always had good experiences with. It's Robin from the future again with a big con for the Color Science Flex. There are only four shades. So I'm going to talk about some other options in a moment that have a much greater shade range. Another one that I have to shout out, but again, this is kind of weird because I end up mixing it, is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I really like this skin tint. I do think that completely on its own, it does feel a bit greasy for me. Again, I have oily skin. So if you have dry skin, you might like this on its own. So my recent concoction that I've been wearing every day has actually been mixing all three of these, one third, one third, one third. And to me is such a beautiful finish with a medium coverage. I really love it, but I don't expect anyone to actually purchase all three of these. I just wanted to share 
that's what I've been doing every day since I get so many questions about my skin. But if you are looking for an option that is similar to this, but in a single bottle, then I can recommend trying the Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation from Tower 28. This one is only SPF 30, so you're not gonna get the same coverage as these, but you only have to buy one bottle. One caveat I do wanna mention with tinted sunscreens, I usually still wear a base of normal facial sunscreen and then wear tinted sunscreen on top of that. Because I'm mixing formulas and only using a little bit, I'm not gonna get enough coverage from the tinted sunscreen to class to qualify as my complete coverage for my whole skin. You know, dermatologists recommend you do two fingers of sunscreen for your whole face. I use tinted sunscreens sparingly as kind of a little extra coverage that looks pretty and is more zinc on top of my face. I love zinc so much. I realized my face is actually always covered in zinc. Zinc sunscreen or zinc face basting at night. There is always zinc on my face and I wouldn't have it any other way. I think zinc is one of the ingredients that keeps my skin smooth, soft, and keeps my acne at bay. Lastly, at the beginning of this video, I did mention that I do wear chemical sunscreen and that is for one specific reason, Mineral sunscreens can really stain clothing. So especially when I'm applying things on my decolletage and neck, I don't want this all to be stained white with zinc, which can happen with mineral sunscreen. So that is where I use this affordable but good quality chemical sunscreen from Nambuzin. And this one is specially formulated for sensitive skin. It's non-comedogenic, it's oxybenzone free, octanosate free, and fragrance free. So this is basically a chemical formula that is made for very sensitive skin, which is perfect for me. Let's just put it on right now. So <laughs> I will put this anywhere that is gonna be basically touching my clothing. I've stained so many really nice jackets with zinc facial sunscreen and I got kind of sick of that, you know, white stains along my collars. So now I just put a little bit of chemical sunscreen that's made for sensitive skin and has decent ingredients, no fragrance, etc. One really, really, really last tip that I want to share is when I reapply my sunscreen, I will usually spray my face first with some hypochlorous acid spray. So here's one from Boost. I'll basically spray this all over and hypochlorous acid has kind of an antimicrobial effect. This is kind of analogous to putting dry shampoo in your hair. It's not really like washing your hair, but it can help clean it a little bit. Same with hypochlorous acid. I know Tower 28 also makes a hypochlorous acid spray. I essentially spray that all over my face and then I will put on my reapplication of sunscreen. So it's kind of like cleaning my skin without cleaning my skin or moving my makeup. This is my favorite duo for reapplying sunscreen later in the day. I would love to know what your holy grail mineral facial sunscreens are. Maybe you've discovered something that I haven't even tried or even if I have tried it, maybe you just love it. I imagine most people watching this video are also gonna be perusing the comments. Make our day, share your favorite sunscreens. I hope that this video really showed you that wearing a mineral facial sunscreen can be a pleasant and beautiful and effective experience. I think with the modern formulations that exist, there's really no reason why we shouldn't all be wearing sunscreen constantly because they're just such a pleasure to wear and they look beautiful. So please share your favorite sunscreens down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.